Hello there, I'm Phil Lloyd, glad to be with you on the latest in the Moocher production series of videos, Coney Catcher 2. I hope you all find something of interest in this short film. I'm ferreting rabbits today on a farm locally to me here in Hampshire, and it's a working contract. A farmer's brought me in to sort out the rabbits in these three or four paddocks, they're causing extensive damage. He's had fencing contractors in to put a fence up all around the perimeter of the field and uh, as you can see the main problem is he's virtually fenced in the rabbits. You can see here the rabbit escape committee has been having a go. My job basically is to clear the remainder of rabbits that are left in the field otherwise this is going to keep happening. There's quite a difference between uh, sporting ferreting and ferreting for all-out pest control. I can't really, if I can help it, let many rabbits get away. A local problem here is that the soil's very sandy and it enables the rabbits to construct extensive, very deep burrows. We'll get some nets down as quick as possible and get to work but I've got a real good feeling that we're going to have some digging. This type of ferreting is not for the spade shy. The owner of this land he doesn't like gassing. Uh, he won't have the rabbits gassed uh, and the clearance is going to take several goes. Those that won't bolt are probably going to have to be trapped or snared. I don't think it's going to be an easy job. Uh, as I say, the owners had several of the local lads in with ferrets and uh, lurcher dogs at night lamping. These rabbits have been harassed quite considerably. They're probably well aware of what's coming. With me today I've got James Bradley. He's a keen ferret and man from the New Forest area. and. Uh, it's handy to have a fella that will come along with you and you know you've got to pay him a few bob but that's the way it goes. He'll enjoy himself anyway, he loves a bit of rabbit tenders James. The owner of this land's got dressage horses and they're obviously worth a lot of money and he's really concerned about the number of holes, deep burrows actually, that are appearing in the middle of the field. If one of the horses was to fall down or put a leg down on these holes and twist it about then we're talking about uh, incredible financial loss. Okay we've got the ferrets in now, I've put two uh, good bitches in here they'll definitely shift the rabbits. We'll stand back, keep out of the way. There's a bolt, go on James, well done. He's got him He's very proud of the first rabbit of the day. Actually, this is an example of what not to do. See how much better it is if you dispatch the rabbit quickly. The main priority on this sort of job is hopefully don't lose any. The owner is definitely around and he's keeping an eye out. As I've said earlier, ferreting for money, professionally, you, you haven't necessarily got to be a lot better than all the other lads, but you certainly got to appear better.